This tutorial will teach you how to use the software Benchling. First, sign into your account or create a new account. You'll need to create a new project by clicking the plus sign in the upper left corner. Fill in the project information, then click Create Project. Now you can begin to analyze your DNA sequences. Remember that you'll be comparing the reference sequence of TAS2R38 to several example sequences and looking for differences between them. Click the plus sign in the upper right hand corner, select DNA sequence, then import new sequence. Begin by uploading the TAS2R38 reference sequence. I put all of mine in a single folder so they'd be easier to find. You can also upload all of your other sequences at the same time, which is what I'm doing here. To compare the sequences, also known as aligning them, first click on the TAS2R38 reference sequence, then click on the button on the right hand side of the screen that says alignment. This window will then pop up and it will ask you which sequences you want to compare the reference sequence to. I'm typing in the names of the three sequences that I have, example one, example two, and example three. Once I've done that, notice that they pop up in the sequences box at the bottom. I then click next and then click create alignment in the next window. It sometimes takes a minute to perform the alignment, but then you can push the green button in the bottom left corner of the screen. I can now see a comparison of all of the sequences compared to the reference sequence at the top of the screen. If the software detects any differences between the sequences, they'll be highlighted in red. These are areas where the sequences have different base pairs at that location. You can scroll to them using the map at the bottom of the screen, or you can just scroll from left to right. You can also use the slider on the left hand side of the chromatogram in order to change the way that the sequences are displayed. These can help you spot differences in the chromatogram peaks. Thanks for watching.